Hi, today we're going to do a tutorial on our VMC 425 Mini Machining Center. Uh, one of the first questions people always ask is how do you set up tools and how do you set up work offsets. So we're going to cover that today. Uh, just like everything in machining, there's a thousand different ways you can do this. I'll show you a couple ways that I do it and you know, it will at least give you a few ideas of how to get the job done. We recommend changing the tools in the spindle itself. There is a slot at the back of the ATC for you to put your tool in, but the, you know, the ATC doesn't really know that that tool is there. So if you call a tool that already has a, po you know, a tool in the pocket, you can have a crash. So if I want to, um, we're on tool two now, if I want to put in tool three, press TSM, so tool three, cycle start, it will drop tool two off in the proper pocket, go to tool three, since there's no tool in there. Now I can insert my tool. And from here we can set up tool length offsets. So the first thing we're going to do is call a tool. So in measuring tool length offsets, we call the tool number under TSM. So tool three. Cycle start. Drops off tool three in tool three's pocket and picks up tool two. We jog the tool into position on our height gauge. You can use a roll pin or a um, you know, an end mill, gauge pin, gauge block, whatever you want to do. Press measure tool. Length manually. and then set length. And this control is actually a Siemens 828D. Process is the same on the 808. Look for a future video. We'll cover it doing the same there. There's a few subtleties, but you'll get the idea from this process this is the same for every tool we'll call tool two now cycle start jog the tool down in Z Measure tool, length manually, set length, and that is it. Continue on through all the tools in your job, whatever you need to do. Uh, if you don't have a height gauge, um, the process is the same, or, um, you know, or come down on top of the tooling and try and guesstimate that way, but you break a few teeth off of a 
$50 carbide end mill and you realize that that's not the best way to do it. Um, again, I'm jumping up with the hand wheel and tent increments so I can just slide this gauge pin through. Right there. Again, measure tool. And in this case, you would either leave it as zero as long as you're using the same size gauge pin or punch in your gauge pin diameter uh, set length and away you go.